spotlight. This is a video series where we take a closer look into a different aspect of Just Cause 4. If you're looking for fresh information and sneak peeks on gameplay, you have come to the right place. For our first episode, we're focusing on the rich, bustling world of Solis and the gargantuan biomes, intricate sub-biomes, and of course, extreme weather. It's time to take a tour of the huge world that you'll be exploring as of December 4th. The world of Solis. Taking inspiration from South America, Solis is the most diverse and memorable landscape that Just Cause has ever had. There's a vast array of unique landmarks that you can discover and explore. It is incredibly tempting to take a buggy ride through the dusty desert at sunset, or hike up a humid hill in the rainforest and simply get lost in the gorgeous atmosphere. Avalanche Studios have really gone back to the roots of Just Cause, and now has a map that will excite your curiosity no matter where you look. This rich South American inspired setting introduces four distinct biomes comprising of rainforest, grasslands, desert, and alpine. How do these different biomes alter the way you play? These biomes have various vertical opportunities. Plateaus, mountains, and canyons mix up the terrain. They also need to cater to places where it's fun to drive and use the new vehicles. From rolling hills, to sand dunes, to a brand new interstate with no speed limit. So, let's explore each biome. Heavily inspired by the Andes, the Alpine biome is harsh and hostile. If you're trying to beat that personal best for the longest continuous wingsuit run, the Alpine is the place to trial it. The feeling of flying through a freezing valley and being totally encapsulated by towering mountains is an unrivaled sensation and a distinctly different experience from any other part of the world. The twisting roads make for an interesting journey by car, but you've got to give the snowmobile a go and smash through the snowy plains. There's even a unique train journey that chugs along the rail tracks. Why not hop aboard? This extreme weather in the Alpine region comes in the form of roaring blizzards. Fierce winds and strict visibility makes for one mean weather type. Here we are in the tropical, humid lands of the rainforest. It's massive and is actually the largest of all the regions in Just Cause 4. With various layers to its canopy, this will alter the way you move around the biome. The thick pockets of forest means wingsuiting through the midsection will be difficult. So instead of flying low, stretch up high above the canopy for a more open, easier way to travel. The boundless trees are a great option to use when grappling onto and initially lifting yourself up into the sky. The extreme weather type that roams the rainforest biome are the tropical storms. These storms are daunting, green-tinged pockets of destruction, with fault lightning that will strike the highest point in the sky. Now we're taking a trip to the calm, serene climate of the grasslands. This biome takes its inspiration from the Pampas in Argentina, but has been injected with true just cause verticality and is mostly developed towards agriculture with stretches of corn, wheat, and other grains. This is the most populated part of Solis, with everything from vast cities and towering skyscrapers to bustling farmlands and fields. Driving the buggy or the ATV over these hills is insanely fun. Even sticking to the roads is a blast with the interstate, where you can race in supercars thanks to no speed limit. And I hope you're ready to take tons of screenshots, because the vistas from the highlands of the rest of Solis are truly some of the most stunning views in the entire game. 
you could argue that the extreme weather in the grasslands needs no introduction. One word. Tornadoes. The devastating, swirling vortex lives in the valleys and will consume, destroy, and rip up anything in its path. Once lush grasslands have since dried out and have turned into a hostile and dry wilderness. The smallest of all the biomes, it is a mixture between areas of smooth sand dunes and rougher, rockier bands. It almost looks like an alien planet, a whole new world. The wide open spaces, few roads and drifting sand dunes are perfect for a cross-country buggy ride across the desert. Of course, this being just cause 4, you can attach some boosters on the back for rocket fast transportation. In the desert, we don't need roads, you make your own path. <laughs> The open desert is also an air vehicle playground, so feel free to use helicopters and planes wherever you want. As all the biomes, the desert is also a great example of finding curiosities in all directions. It begs the question, where do I go next? The answer is entirely up to you. This extreme weather type affects visibility massively. It's very hard to see who you're fighting, where you're driving, and what you're doing. Hello, I'm Omar Shakir, the Narrative Director at Avalanche Studios New York, working on Just Cause 4. In our new game, Rico Rodriguez will hunt down the truth about his past on this fictional South American world of Solis. You'll still use Rico's wingsuit and parachute for traversal, but now we've added new wind currents. They enable you to glide through the world wherever you see them. Let's take a look at Rico's new grappling hook. All of its functionality from the previous games returns, but we've added multiple new features, including the ability to customize different loadouts. In our current setup, we have a powerful charge pulse that blasts objects apart when they meet. A major addition to the grappling hook is the ability to attach multiple airlifters to any object in our game. At the press of a button, the player can disable all airlifters, sending objects crashing back down to the ground. The boosters are back, but this time you can fire them from the grappling hook to remotely and precisely place them wherever you want. Let's get creative and use a combination of the boosters and airlifters. For example, We've taken a crane and cargo container and turned them into a rocket-powered wrecking ball. As you know, everything in Just Cause is always driven by physics. But in Just Cause 4, we've given you freedom that you've never experienced before. Now, by adding more airlifts and changing the placement of the boosters, we've made something completely different out of the same shipping container a makeshift Zeppelin. Now, let's jump right into the action and check out some of the more extreme parts of the open world. In this mission, Rico's pursuing a massive tornado as it weaves a path of destruction throughout the grasslands. And this is the Storm Chaser, the only vehicle that allows him to do so. All right, let's see what this thing can do. 
Thanks to Avalanche's new Apex engine, everything you see, as well as the trajectory of every spiraling object, is being calculated in real time. Storm Chaser and get out of here. I'll get the tornado back on track. The Black Hand have taken over Solis's private airport. And to progress, Rico must take out the wind cannons that are holding the tornado at bay. Adios. The player can take out the wind cannons in any way they choose. Right now we're using the railgun, one of the many new weapons in the game. And all these new weapons have a secondary fire option. So in this case, the railgun can shoot a powerful beam of energy, and it can also deploy a drone that will fight alongside Rico. You can even use this drone as a grapple point to propel yourself into the air. For the next cannon, let's get more creative and use some new features of Rico's grappling hook. That's all we're going to show today. It's just a small glimpse of what to expect in Just Cause 4. And there's plenty more to come when you play yourself on December 4th.